However, these exemptions are not absolute. Some victims of gun violence have found avenues to seek justice and compensation for harms caused by wrongful gun industry conduct. Like what? All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, one of the things I want you to do, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, pour yourself a drink and give a toast in remembrance to those individuals who died in the service of this country. That's what this weekend is for. So please recognize. So with that, uh, also, uh, there are some sales going on right now. I've found one thing that I really liked that I think is worthwhile. It is the Geisley SSAE, and I put it in the link down below in the campsite. I'm gonna take you right there and let you know. What are we talking about in this video? This is something that really chaps my rear end. Uh, this is a bunch of people who will give stop at nothing, okay? Uh, the ends justifies the means and destroying our rights and freedoms. And one of those, well, the Giffords Law Center and every town for gun safety, and they will lie and do whatever they have to in the endeavor to take away our rights. Let's just face it. If you have a firearm, they look at you as a potential murderer. It doesn't matter what you do. doesn't matter what you say. doesn't matter anyway. So uh, we're going to talk about specifically the PLICA. This is the, uh, what do you call this thing? This is the Protection of Lawful Commerce Act in uh, Arms Act. Okay, Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. Now, this was derived because... Uh, I guess people who were uh, victims of a violent crime that involved a firearm were being allowed to sue the manufacturers. Now, I'm going to read some stuff, and it's going to piss you off. And that's why the title of this video is This Stuff Chaps My Ass. Okay, uh, let's do this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this uh, real quickly. This is from the Law Giffords Law Center. Okay, a... Uh, here it is, a federal gun industry immunity law adopted in 2005 slams courtroom doors shut on many civil claims against the gun industry. Well, all right, okay, but state laws can be helped <laughs> push back. So there's a couple states that have actually said that, yes, you can sue uh, firearm manufacturers, okay? And this is the whole thing that I go into the situation where you've got Joe Biden talking about these. the, the firearm industry is the only industry that is immune from libel suit. Um, no, they're not. In actuality no they're not and, and there's certain reasons why okay let's go back to giffords with nearly every other industry in the united states civil liability can be used and as an important check on irresponsible and harmful industry behaviors okay so let's talk about remember the four pinto remember the uh the gas tanks would blow up and they did it they they decided that it was more efficient for them just to go ahead and pay for people to get blown up than it was to go back and fix it okay so there was a problem with that fire uh, that firearm that vehicle there was a problem with the vehicle people were dying and they refused to get it fixed there's liability in that okay right now i guess you know sig sour with the p320 there's a lot of people getting shot for some stupid reason, one or another, and I'm not going to get involved in that, but there's liability for that, okay? Somebody shoots himself in a leg uh, because their firearm just went off. Well, there's liability for that, okay? The same as when, uh, well, okay, let's go, never mind. Let's go ahead. All right, with nearly every other industry in the United States, civil liability can be used as an important check on irresponsible and harmful industry behaviors. Right. But the profit-seeking, okay, here we go. We're going to demonize the industry before we even start talking about it. The profit-seeking gun industry has enjoyed enormous exemptions from liability and accountability in the court since President Bush signed the Federal Protection Law for Commerce and Arms Act into law in 2005. Here we go. Many states have also enacted similar laws that shield firearm and ammunition manufacturers, dealers, and other industry members from many kinds of traditional civil lawsuits. All right, let's go ahead and transfer ourselves over to the actual bill. And I'm going to read this to you. Okay, this is pretty neat. The possibility of imposing liability on an entire industry for harm that is solely caused by others in is an abuse of the legal system 
erodes public confidence in our nation's laws, threatens the diminution of a basic constitutional right and civil liberty, invites the disassembly and destabilization of other industries and economic sectors lawfully competing in free enterprise system of the United States, and constitutes an unreasonable burden on interstate and foreign commerce in the United States. Right. Let's do this one real quick. I'm going to go back up here to top. This is interesting. Well, let's see. Number one, the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Let's go ahead and go. And, and that, that is it, right? The Second Amendment to the United States Constitution protects the rights of individuals, including those who are not members of a militia or engaged in militia service or training to keep and bear arms. Here's where it gets really cool. Lawsuits have been commenced against manufacturers distributors, dealers, and importers of firearms that operate as designed and intended. That's the key element. Operate as designed and intended, which seek money damages and other relief for the harm caused by the misuse of firearms by third parties, including criminals. Yeah, the manufacture and importation, possession, sale, and use of firearms and ammunition in the United States are heavily regulated by the federal Federal, state, and local levels. Such federal laws include the Gun Control Act of 1968. All right, we're going to get on into that. But here's the deal. They did me, all right, so we go back over to Gifford's law firm. Okay, I know everybody this is getting bored, but I, bear with me. Importantly, however, these exemptions are not absolute. Some victims of gun violence have found avenues to seek justice and compensation for harms caused by wrongful gun industry conduct. Like what? It, 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 tell me what those conducts are. All, conduct, although often after years of long and painful litigation to affirm their right to sue the gun industry under exemptions to state and federal industry immunity laws in recent years, four states have also enacted this. Okay, so uh, getting really sick of it, right? All right, let's go over here. I'm going to read you this whole thing. Repeal gun industry, industry immunity. Okay, so to give you a big old thing, repeal the deal. Okay, repeal special protection for bad actors in gun industry, in the gun industry. Well, bad actors are criminals, people going out and are causing harm left and right. What is the gun industry supposed to do and to eradicate these things where people are going out and they are basically performing a crime uh, in using this. So first of all, <clears throat> we don't we don't sue Chevy because they made a Corvette that goes real fast and somebody got killed. We don't sue Ford if somebody uses their van to run through a parade, do we? No, and it's a whole thing is these people have lost their ever loving mind. Uh, this whole argu argument, it, it stems from uh, an article that I saw in this thing called The Guardian. And it is a left-wing rag, okay, and this guy named Adam Gabbett. If you look at his picture, you'll you'll understand, and it's pretty much uh, it's just it, that's what set this whole thing off for me. Okay, as America's gun crisis shows no sign of abating, there is some hope for reducing the number of mass shootings and killings. The emerging wave of lawsuits against gun makers echoes previous success against the car industry. No, no, no. You can't sue a gun manufacturer for his firearm performing as it should have from but you can sue the criminal you can go after that guy which the left they don't want to do that okay so they, they put him in jail let him out of jail put him in jail let him out of jail they don't do anything they're not addressing it's the elephant in the room nobody wants to address that problem you want to cut firearm uh crime in half go get the bad boys you probably they're gonna put some more rules on the books so we can uh you know take all the people who are obey laws or they'll turn their stuff in. <laughs> Diane Feinstein. Uh in New York, California, Delaware, and other states, new laws aim to provide ways around around a near and this is okay, around. Okay, do you get that? Uh, a 20 year immunity provided to the gun manufacturers and distributors in Indiana, a lawsuit brought by victims of the twenty two I'm not even gonna go there. Lawsuits here, lawsuits there. Um but the thing is, the more uh, more that this is allowed, you get some left-leaning judges who allow this stuff. That's what I was talking about earlier when I said that uh, this whole thing could really screw up and, one, 
invites this assembly and the destabilization of other industries and economic sectors lawfully competing in free enterprise. So you guys get it? We've got to keep up the fight. And you know what? There's some amazing people out there who are really doing a great job at FPC. Uh, I was really surprised in seeing that thing go through. But you know what? Hopefully it'll continue. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to put the links to, links to these little deals down here so that you can go read them yourself. But I would, all, I would say that as part of the Second Amendment and what we stand for, get to know this one. I'm going to put the link up top. You're going to see congress.gov. All right? And you read that because here's the thing. If a gun runs out in the middle of the street and kills a bunch of people because that's the way it was advertised and it could self-perform, then the manufacturer would kind of probably be liable about it. But it doesn't. If a criminal goes out, this they, they, what they want to do is they, they, want to, they want to be able to sue the ammunition manufacturers. They want to sue the dealer that sold this thing. They want to be able to open it up to sue everybody because you, sir, are a potential criminal. You have the ability to murder people with your firearm that you don't need because to them, the only people that need a gun are law enforcement, which is why Chuck Schumer didn't want anybody having body armor so that they can more effectively kill you. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Is freedom is not free. I got to go build some stuff. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.